So this dormouse was caught by a cat when it was only a youngster and it's been hand reared. And now we're trying to fatten him up for the winter so that he can go into hibernation. Do you know how he was um, rescued? Um, so he was taken to a rescue centre. Yeah. Uh, brought in by somebody's cat, the person who owned the cat took him to the rescue centre. Oh, um, no. And he was very tiny at the time, but now he's really huge. So we're going to weigh him now to see how much weight he's put on recently. If he was underweight, does that mean we'd have to feed him more through the winter? Yes, so if, if he's not up to a certain weight, he won't survive the winter. So we have to give him extra sort of nuts and seeds and fruit. Um, they particularly like banana, which <laughs> is good for putting weight on. Good. What's going to happen to this little fellow after you've looked after him this winter? So he'll probably be reintroduced into the wild uh, at a, a secret site next spring. Um, but if we have too many of a certain sex, then he will be kept for breeding, possibly released the following year. Great. And how's that going this year? Have we got lots of breeding this year? Um, lots of dormice have been bred this summer, so we think we should have plenty for our reintroduction because we need about 40 animals for mm. each site. So although you have the amazing responsibility of looking after these little fellows, it's a big job behind the scenes. Tell us about the work you do behind the scenes to make sure this project happens. Well, the dormice obviously have to be checked every day, fed and watered. We do regular health checks. We have to decide which animals to pair up, so who to breed with who. Then we have to check them to see which young they've produced. Um, in the autumn, we get them all ready for hibernation, which means preparing their cages with lots of leaves and compost for them to hibernate naturally. In the spring, we then have to dig them up <laughs> from hibernation so that they can go off to be health checked again, ready for their release. And we also do a lot of uh, work looking at genetics of these animals. So we keep a stud book here where we, we record all the individuals who are in captivity so that the animals that we release are not inbred 